Hello viewers, welcome to yet another new series on Extra Mile Exceptional Leadership. Such a joy to be back with you on air and I want to thank God for how God has been using this program to speak to many people, touch them, bless them and add so much value to them. Today I'm beginning a whole new series of teaching that I choose to title Triumphing Over Troubles triumphing over troubles. This is particularly important knowing that every one of us at varying stages of our lives and transitions, we always encounter challenges and difficulties and issues that tend to want to stretch us, want to, you know, uh, attempt to derail our visions. Sometimes when people come under such troubling seasons, they tend to want to, on the basis of a temporary matter, make permanent decisions to literally resign, cave in and give up. But one of the things they often forget is that troubles that come always have an expiry date. They will always come to pass. So in this new series, I'm going to be taking you through a lot of profound scriptures to show you how you can triumph over troubles. If troubles will come and must come, no escaping it. There is no amount of righteousness or good behavior of yours that is going to make you avoid trouble. As long as there is a devil that is alive and walking, troubles will inexorably and inevitably come your way one way or the other. In the book of Revelations, chapter 12 and verse 7, the first line of it, I love that scripture. Here's how the Bible puts it. The Bible says, and war broke out in heaven. And war broke out in heaven. And Michael, the archangel, and his angels waged war with the dragon. And the dragon and his angels fought. That scripture, actually from verse 7 of Revelation chapter 12 all the way to verse 10, tells of, of, of a heavenly event that happened of how Lucifer chose to want to exalt himself above the throne of God. He actually felt that God cannot just be the only one that will be worshipped in perpetuity. There's going to be some, uh, if you will, democratic exchange where, you know, some other person can come above and God was not going to have any of that. And so the angels that were loyal to, to Lucifer that became the dragon, you know, the Bible tells us they were one third of them, fought against Michael the archangel. So the Bible says, and war broke out in heaven. Interesting. In the very presence of God, in the seat of order, where everything ought to be at its best, the Bible says war broke out. So how then should any of us be surprised or amazed when challenges or war, as it were, breaks out in anything that connects or pertains to us? You shouldn't then be surprised if war breaks out in your finance, if war breaks out in your home, if war breaks, if war breaks out in your career, or in your relationships, or even in your health. It's just normal, you know, for trouble to arise. I love the way uh, a man of God uh, put it, uh, John Hagee to be precise. He said, troubles are proofs that you are a card-carrying member of the human race. 